Now consider this to be a irregular body such that it is made up of different masses m1, m2, m3 and it will go up to mn. Now when it is rotating about its axis, each particle because it is on the same body has its same angular velocity. What is it called? Omega. 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 Now omega is constant. Now we know it very well that v is equals to what? r omega where v is the velocity, r is the distance of the particle from axis of rotation and omega is the constant angular velocity. Now because it's constant, what do I get? v is proportional to r. This is my equation number 1. So what do As the distance from the axis of rotation goes on increasing, the velocity, the linear velocity also increases. This is angular velocity, this is linear velocity. But by definition we know momentum is mass into velocity. Now because the mass of the entire system is constant, momentum is directly proportional to velocity. So I get two very important equations. First, velocity is depending on r. As r increases, v increases. Second, as v increases, the momentum also increases. Now when the momentum increases, what increases is the effect of impact. Now let's see how. Now as we have seen that as the distance increases the velocity increases and as the velocity increases the momentum is going to increase. So what I am going to do is I am going to keep this cucumber very close to the axis of rotation and we will see what happens. Now you can see that the efforts are very less that is it chop both come one. Now if I keep the same cucumber at little edge, now you can see that it has got chopped more. Why? Because as the distance increased, the velocity increased and because the velocity increased, the momentum has increased which has increased the impact. Okay? Correct.